Here's a Zenith farm radio that a customer wants restored. And I think this is a little bit... This requires a little bit more passion than I really have for somebody else's uh, radio that's in this bad of shape. But I'm going to make an attempt to at least get it working. It is a farm radio. It runs on... Uh, ran on a 6-volt lead-acid storage battery. It uses a vibrator. Uh, guy that checked it out for, before me that I do some work for said that uh, he couldn't get the vibrator to run and basically gave up on it. It needs a speaker needs grill cloth and it needs to be electrically brought back to life. I'm thinking about just a transformer and a rectifier. Probably what a hundred volts and six six point three volts. If I want to get that deep into it. Back on the Zenith farm radio, I um repaired the speaker as best I could and this is the actual appropriate speaker glue left over from my Pro Audio nightclub reconing days and I'm not too worried about these holes here because we're not producing really any bass with this and there's no no uh, compression behind the thing it's just in an open box and it's just going to be used to reproduce some low-level voice so it, it should this glue is extremely hardcore and for the grill cloth I went all you can do is get horrible Chinese black grill cloth anymore this they don't they don't make this kinda and this is an idea that I got from Bob Anderson which is burlap and, uh, you know, being a farm set, I think that burlap would actually probably look okay here. It's about the only option, um, you know, besides black, cheesy, Chinese grill cloth. So let's get this installed and see how it looks. Okay, this doesn't, doesn't look too bad, except you can see the light coming through where there's a hole in the speaker. I guess I need to put some black paper over that or something. Now the next step is um, the next step is to delete the vibrator and go with a 12 volt center tap transformer. And what was suggested to me is to, to get rid of the vibrator and use the set its own transformer and just feed the 12.6 volt center tapped into here and then run the filaments off the 6 volts. I guess one thing I gotta check is what the what the current draw of these tubes are because I, that's a 2 amp, 2.5 amp transformer and if these are 250 milliamps a piece there's an amp amp and a half. I guess I'm okay. So this is a power supply so yellow goes to here, gray goes here, Let's see where does red go? Red goes right here. I'm just gonna snip these. So red goes right here to this resistor. Gray goes right here to this other gray. Yellow goes here and then this one here goes to ground. Okay, here's the uh, power supply complete with dead roaches. I'm sure these are all in real good shape. I'm sure this is in good shape here. Two to eight microfarads? Boy, that's pretty broad.
Well, it looks like it's got two wires coming out of it. Hmm, and one of them was the, uh, oh no, it's got four wires. So what I have to do is I have to, um, figure out which ones of these, the transformer, and then I have to add a bridge rectifier and and a capacitor, I guess, down in here. I've added two 1N4007s. Uh, this is ground. And these are the two outsides of the uh, secondary. And the center feeds, center tap feeds to this, which is you know, like a, uh, a choke, filter choke. And then I added one 10 microfarad at 450 here. This side here feeds down to this big filter choke right there. And then that feeds back up to here. And I added another 10 microfarad there. So this this is the only modification I've done. And... The original B plus wire, I just rolled it up and tucked it there, and the capacitor ground from the old electrolytic, I just rolled it up and tucked it under there. So I've done no, no permanent modifications to this that can't be quickly undone if a purist were to get a hold of this and say, I want my vibrator. So, um, with with 12 volts from this guy going into here, well I can, I'll hook it up right now, but I was getting about 260 out with no load. Okay, let's try this again. Put the diodes in the right way, you idiot. Um, that's the way the diodes go in with the uh, anode, I guess, the ground. And we have 287 volts with 12 volts in. Now that might be too high. I got to get it in the radio and load it down. Um, see, I think the radio is supposed to get about 130. So if if when it gets a load on it, if it doesn't drop, what I'll do is I'll drop. I'll try running this thing on 6.3 versus 12. It's test time. This is so I can measure my B plus. This is filament here. And this, the zip cord is the uh, 6 or 12 volts into the primary of the vibrator transformer. Wow, this looks really promising. Okay, I got filament there and I got this, the two reds are 12 volts and the black and red is 6 volt. This is a vibrator wire. I'm going to power this up. I'm getting humming through the speaker with just the filaments. Do a better job of this. Really, it's going to work that easy? So crucial. GI bleeds. Common causes of GI bleeds include polyps, gastrointestinal. Those principles. Then you're empowered. You don't have to do it, but then you are empowered to be able to apply the two principles in your life if you're ready. And then I show people some of the best tools that I have used. In the first half of week one, they are playing Jacksonville. Uh, we've got two points on the eighth round. And we're going to be going to the front. That's blown a 2-0 lead, but since then, Alex Smith, two touchdown passes. So that's 103 volts running on um, 
six volts only. Let me let me crank it up and see if it. Let me let me go up to. Uh, There's like some noise. Let me play with this for a minute. It might want to see DC on the filaments. Um, let me think about this for a minute. Okay, it does not like AC on these filaments. I'm running it off of. I'm running six volts off of here. Uh, I've done this before. In fact, it's a fun thing to do, even if you're not using. Boy, this vernier tuning, man, it's just. Sydney, I'm sure. You know what? It's, it's one of the biggest paydays for us as parents or grandparents or as leaders of, of Boy Scouts or whatever, whatever you're wearing. We do, we do this oftentimes even maybe even with our own company employees. And we go around and, and share. And people just take a few minutes and share the answers they wrote down. And then we make commentary. Uh, it's amazing. Okay, so I wonder if I can use a bridge rectifier and a capacitor to just filter one side of this or if I should just get two 6.3 volt filament transformers. Let me play with that. Somehow a big chunk of this video came up missing. Uh, I did have to add a bridge rectifier and a 4700 microfarad capacitor, 4700 microfarad capacitor to filter the 6.3 volts from the uh, filament output of the transformer or I should say for the filaments the tube filaments and if you look at this the audio output tube filaments are also the cathode so it this thing wants to see DC on the filament so you have to if you convert this from the vibrator you have to supply a clean 6.3 volt DC not AC to these tube filaments and also you'll notice that this was not a restore I did not change one single uh, of the wax paper capacitors in the radio. It's not what this was. This was not a restore. This was simply a get it working deal. And it works very well. So I ended up leaving this original uh, vibrator transformer and I basically put two diodes in parallel with this capacitor and this capacitor here to filter the voltage and then I um, I replaced basically this capacitor and this capacitor with 10, 10 microfarad capacitors. Children into neighborhoods far away in order to achieve racial balance in the schools. Children were roused out of bed an hour before they needed to be in order to ship them off to school. Now, at the time... 
Okay, what do you what do you want to know about Syria? Okay, with Syria. Well, I'm telling you, you gotta be in equities when you're 60 years old. You got 30 freaking years to outpace this. Average death age of a male is 76, female 78 right now. That includes infant mortality. You make it 60, you're gonna make it to 90 statistically right now. And so you need to be thinking about the cost of a loaf of bread then, because you may not have any. So you got to do some of that, and I, so I'm, I, that's what I'm doing, personally. And you do what you want to do, but that's what I'm doing. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. KFWB News Talk 980. I talk about the importance of term life insurance all the time. 